Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about significant figures. They are everywhere, as that subtitle would suggest. And we can find them in places such as nutrition facts. Nutrition facts for chocolate turtles. If we look at these nutrition facts, we can see that there are 220 calories listed. Um, do you think that there are exactly 220 calories per serving, or 110 calories in white turtles, since there are two turtles per serving? I don't. I think it's probably something more like 215 or up to 224 calories per serving because there are inconsistencies in packaged processed foods. Or all foods, really. No food is like <laughs> super standard. So that's why they've rounded off here into the tens place. And we can see this happening with other foods. If we look at real turtles that are sold on a bodybuilding website, we can see that these turtles have approximately 360 calories in them. So again, they're rounding off to the tens place. Um, but we see other units, uh, or another, other quantities, rather, of significant figures when we look over at sodium. In these sodium in these turtles, they are pretty confident uh, about how much sodium there is. They've set it out to three significant figures. They're like, hey, we're pretty gosh darn sure about the sodium. Don't, don't quote us on how many calories are in your turtles, but the sodium, we got the sodium. We're not also, we don't really know about the potassium. We're not quite as sure about that, because they've only got significant figures into the tens place there. So where else do we see significant figures? You might see them on road signs. You might be riding a bicycle down the road like me, and you'd see a sign that says humps in 90 meters, and you'd be like, whoa, when did I get to Europe, or some country that is not America? Europe, for the record, is not a country. Um, so these humps aren't likely exactly 90 meters away from that sign. It's more likely that there's something like 91.4 meters away from the sign, or maybe a little bit less than 90, 87.6 meters away. Well, they don't make signs that say 86.7 meters from humps, um, so they make these 90 meter signs, and we get significant figures into the tens place. So you might see signs that are even more vague, signs that are intended to be moved around from place to place, like this construction sign. Construction signs are moved around when construction is needed, so this sign says construction's a thousand feet away. That's definitely not the exact distance to the construction site. It could be as little as like 624, it really could be as little as like 500 construction feet and we'd still be obeying rounding laws by 501 feet away by rounding up to 1,000 feet. But we only have significant figures in the thousands place. That is not at all an exact number. You might see road signs that are like, hey, I'm real exact, dude. I know exactly how far away this thing is. Like this sign to PNC Park that says 316.5 miles. So even a sign like that with four significant figures of data isn't giving us really the exact story. It's more likely that that park of PNCs is 316.5429364 miles away. So we've only got four sig figs, but there's always the potential to have more significant figures. We see significant figures also in printed resources. So I found these statistics on televisions that were sold in the 1970s. Um, and it seems unlikely that exactly one units of 1,000 televisions were sold throughout the 70s. I, I would bet that in a given year there were probably numbers in the ones place and tens place and hundreds place for how many televisions were sold. And you can look at data that is from even older in the 50s, and they were keeping track of exactly how many televisions were sold until the late 50s when they're like, it's too much work, we're done, we're just gonna round to the thousands place. That's that's all we got time for. Um, so we see two different types of significant figures, two different quantities of word bombs, significant figures in there. And if we look at more contemporary headlines, we can also see significant figures are in play. So is it likely that one exactly 1% 1 of the titled land in the world is owned by women? No. It's more likely that it's something like 1.4269%, and we're not getting the exact value. We're getting one significant figure of that exact value. And there's a number of other numbers in this headline that contain only one or two significant figures. Uh, we can also see significant figures pop up when we try and figure out like how long a movie is. So, I want to watch Toy Story. How long is this movie? How long am I going to be sitting there watching? Well, Wikipedia, sorry, not Wikipedia. Actually, I guess this is a Wikipedia-based result. But Google says that it's going to be an hour and 20 minutes. 21 minutes. I can read. An hour and 21 minutes, which is actually 81 minutes. Well, if you dig a little bit deeper, 
you can find that Toy Story runs 80 minutes and 30 seconds. So not 81, but 80.5 seconds. Got you, Google. I got you. You lied to me and I caught you in your lies. Well, I guess it wasn't a lie. They only gave me two significant figures of data, as opposed to giving me three significant figures of data, like this website. So don't get all huffy when Google doesn't give you the exact value, like I did. And enjoy looking for significant figures out in the real world.